Hola amigos and welcome back my friends to another episode of Locals to Legends and as you can see here we are playing Levante in today's game and I think we also have Barcelona as well so yeah since you've uh, been away we've, as you can see from the recent form we are not being great so let's have a quick check how we've got on uh, so yeah, as you can see uh, from our last game against Osasuna and Getafe, where we won, we played uh, Real Sociedad and we lost 3-2. Rafa Muthia and Christian Cedres with the goals for us, but yeah, unfortunately we did concede a few, but uh, we were winning, at, well, we at 2-2 two -two we had a penalty which we missed and that would have put us through for three points, but yeah, they went on to score the winner. As, but we were 2-0 down, the claw it back to 2-2, two, two, we did well. Uh, then we played Atletico Madrid, Rathen with here with a goal, and it was 2-1 for a while. Uh, obviously, you can see we took the lead as well. It was 2-1, we put a lot of pressure on, tried to commit, uh, commit players going forward to try and see if we could get a 2 or a draw, but yeah, they hit us on the break. Then we played Sevilla, and yeah, we lost 1-0, and it was a close game. Again, we gave them a good run for the money, but controversial penalty decision going against us and they win 1-0 and yeah in the last game against Villarreal they took the lead again we tried throwing players forward to score a goal to uh, get the draw and yeah they hit us late on with a, with a fantastic free kick from Trukwazi yeah and as I said today we play against Levante and Barcelona as well uh, yeah we could get relegated going how uh, depending on how results go so yeah we'll have to wait and see hopefully fingers crossed we can still survive but yeah it's looking less and less likely now yeah as you can see from the table we are seven points from safety yeah not looking too good with only four games to go and yeah as i said we could officially be relegated today but we've got to be positive we can still do it mathematically and we can still push on to try and get that done oh i've just noticed yellow top yellow cards in the league mandy and david simon <laughs> that's funny but yeah, we've also got to be careful that like Getafe don't catch us up because we don't want to be coming dead last. Also, we've had some youth intakes come in. So yeah, we'll go through them now and see what you guys think. So yeah, first player up is Yunya Nunez, a young goalkeeper with a driven personality and good potential as well. Uh, starting ability, obviously not good enough to come straight into the first team, but at six foot six and a driven personality, he could be one to keep an eye on. He's a good young prospect. Then we've got Christian Marquez, a attacking midfielder, two-star current ability, which is a very good uh, start. So he could get some game time this season, potentially. And again, potential of, is fantastic. Only issue that lets him down is personality is uh, unambitious and his determination is at a three as well. So uh, He has got good attributes to play in the deep line playmaking role, though, so that could be one to watch out for him. Now we've got Ion Camacho, a young centre back who's five foot ten, unfortunately, but balanced personality. Uh, he is quite versatile with both his preferred feet being both, so he could play right back, could be left back. So I might look to develop him to be a full back, but a one and a half star poten uh, potential or not potential current ability is pretty decent with a five star potential. He's another one we're looking to try and uh, improve and hopefully see him going forward in our first team. And we've got a young right back here called Rosman, who's unfortunately his personality is a bit is un unambitious, but I look at him and think actually he's not too bad. I feel like he could develop into a nice fullback for us, and maybe a bit of a squad player going forward. But yeah, I do quite like him. I think we can work with him. This is another one I'm quite excited about. Is a very professional player, is Antonio Jesus. He is six foot three. Okay, he isn't the quickest in the world, but if we put him as an inside forward on the wings. With his uh, natural height and all right heading ability for a 16 year old, he could attack that back post and score quite a lot of goals for us from uh, crosses. And with the player trade already getting into opposition areas, is I feel like he will be a decent player for us if we can just improve some of those physicals. So, yeah, and oh, one of our youngsters is winter by Espanol already. The Christian Marquez, the attacking midfielder. Actually, is that the guy we're going to be playing as the deep line player? Yeah, this is a deep line playmaker guy. Uh, and yeah, he is local. A lot of them are, uh, they all are local. But they've all born in, uh, born, brought through our academy, so all those youngsters will still be uh, perfectly legible, legible to play for us. So the lineup for today's game is we've got Raul in goal, then we've got David Simon at right back with Traore, Itami, 
at centre back with Agony Alvarez at left back. Then we've got Mandy and Fabio in the midfield with Benito on the right and Pedri on the left. We've got Treveso and Rafa Murthia up front as well. And here we go. The players coming out now. Uh, Las Palmas versus Levante in Levante as well. So, yeah, so first five minutes in. So far, so good. We uh, aren't losing, which is always a bonus. And we're keeping a clean sheet so far. As uh, David Simon with the throw. Can we make something happen? Simon now. Gets past the man. Ball whipped in. Muthia and he scores. We won the up after 13 minutes. Nice positive start. That's what we want. And we find ourselves 1-0 up after, as I say, 13 minutes. Uh, and it's a kick-off highlight straight away for Levante. And uh, Coke Vegas and the ball. What's he going to do for him? Hopefully give it away. He boots it forward straight to one of our players, Simon. So Traore plays it long. And uh, Traveso on the ball plays it back to Fabio. Mandy on it. And good positive football so far. Good ball that wide to Pedri. Pedri. Plays it back to Fabio. Fabio plays it back out to Alves. Alves now driving forward a little bit. Ball whipped in, but it's blocked. But Fabio wins it. Oh, it gets tackled there by Peplu, though. And here comes the long ball over the top. And it's Valble. Vialba, sorry. And he shoots. And he scores. And Vialba scores. 14th minute. That was not a, uh, not a quick lead we had. So, yeah, after a minute, we're pegged back straight away. Not the uh, not the response we were looking for for going 1-0 up, but it's, it's a free kick again. Tono to take. Long ball forward, and it's over the top. Vialba one-on-one. Vialba, oh, and it's 2-1 already. 19 minutes on the clock, and Vialba scores. It's a long ball over the top. Gets on the end of it, and... I don't know what uh, Raul was doing there, but yeah, yeah, two one down already. Not oh, gutting already. Ramirez takes the corner, ball whipped in. Mandy couldn't get there. Fabio Otami blocked, shot blocked again, and yeah, it's cleared away. So we're having chances, which is positive, but yeah, not not taking it. Well, we took one already, I suppose. We can't be too greedy, but Levante are on the break again. Tono. Play it to Bandy, ball whipped in, and it's headed by Peplu, and I go close again to Levante. At the moment, they seem to be hitting us on the break quite easily, which is obviously far from ideal. Five minutes before half-time, Maitami to Fabio. Pedri now on the ball. Can we uh, get ourselves on level terms just before half-time? Mandy now. Plays it to Fabio. Looking to find the right pass. He plays it forward. Trevezo, Trevezo shoots oh, straight at the keeper. Got to be doing better than that in those one-on-one -on -one situations. To throw in now. Just before half-time. 45th minute. Levante play it through. To Radoja. Vialba. Lovely crossfield ball to Evie. Evie plays it back to Bardi. Bardi shoots. Oh. And it's 3-1. Ennis Bahadi with the finish. Keeper, in my opinion, should be doing better. But he does hit it well. Hmm. 3-1. 2-1 you can probably inspire players to come back and I think that's probably just going to demoralise them now. That's poor from the defender and poor from the keeper. And that's half time. 3-1 down. Got to get into these players and make them believe that we've still got a chance of coming back in this game. We've got nothing to lose. We've got to give it our best shot and hopefully we can uh, inspire these players individually by saying we've got a bit of faith. And that seemed to do the trick. Let's see how we get on. We've got to perform better this second half, get a couple of goals, that's what we need to try and do, a quick sub, we'll take Alves off, he's looking nervous and on a 6.4, Danny comes on, and yeah we're going to have to make another sub, we're going to try and change things up a little bit as well uh, yeah I think we're going to have to go three up top, we've got to try and do everything we can to well, get goals, because that's what we need to survive we need to score goals we'll take Trevezo off and we'll uh put Herrera on and Muthia will be playing that poach role if Pedri still, on, still playing we'll put him on the opposite wing though and we'll uh, bring Danny Castellano forward to a wing, ga well, wing back sorry wing back attack uh, Fabio Fabio Dav David Simon will still be on the uh, wing back attack as well Raul on the with a goal kick Aitami can we 
at least get another goal to put more pressure on Levante. Because this second half, it's been pretty dull. And, yeah, hopefully we can. But oh, look, we give it away, Danny does. Long ball forward. Vialba gets away from Waitami. We know Waitami hasn't got much pace anymore. And uh, Levante look like they're getting a highlight now. And it's a uh, more or less lovely little passing of play here. And Vialba to Biardi. Oh, no, it's it shows Morales. And it's 4-1. It's pretty straight at the keeper, and he just pushes it into the roof of the net. And we find ourselves 4 1 down after 60 minutes. We had to go for it, though. But yeah, it's some nice little footwork there. But again, poor defending and also poor goalkeeping. The finish wasn't great. Troyore into Fabio. Fabio at the top, but gives the ball away. And. Peppelou now coming forward, plays, well, plays it back to Roba, but Danny picks off the pass. Is this our chance to get our goal? Pedri now, what can he make? Pedri have a shot? Oh, it was a poor shot. Very poor shot, straight at Koke. It's another goal kick, uh, Raul to Itami. Itami out to Man, I'll say edge of the area to Mandy. Cross your ball to Benito now. What can Benito make happen? Plays a lovely ball through to Herrera. Herrera. Cross block, but Simon's there. David someone with the ball whipped him. It's headed away by the defender. Fabio now on the ball. Oh, lovely through ball to Pedri. Pedri shoots, scores. It's 4-2. Oh, no, but he's offside. Pedri is just off, and what a wonderful ball that was at first, but it's just off. Oh, no no replay of it to see if he was actually offside. Typical. We're going to make another sub. No, well, tactic change. We've got to try and do something. Got to get 20 minutes to get these goals. And we're going to have to go along, try and see if we can go over the top of them and move it a lot quicker. Pressing high up the pitch already and we got to try and do everything we can to win that ball back. And go more direct as well. And nothing's happening here. Nothing is happening. Ten minutes left to go, but... Oh, here we go. Pedri on the ball. Plays it cross field pass, but it's cut out. And Coco... Uh, Coco... Coke Vegas, sorry, is on the ball. What will he do? Throws it, throws it out to Tono. Tono now into more, uh, more or less. Roba. Levante. Just moving the ball around quite nicely. But as we try and put a bit of pressure on him. But oh, it gets past him to Peplu and it's five. Pepe Lu with the goal for Levante. And it's Levante five. Las Palmas one. And it looks like we're disappearing now. Not great at all. Ball played in. Rubo. Oh, it's Ruben Vezo with the goal. Can't get my words out. 82nd minute. Levante now 6 1 up. And yeah, we just capitulated going for it. They've just. Yeah, to be honest, they've just created far better chances than us. And we have had chances this game. But yeah, we just haven't put any of them away. Benito, the ball whipped in. Headed away. Yeah, we're just making it it's too easy for them to do whatever they need to do against us. Danny on the ball now. Is there anything we can do? No, we give it away and it's Hernani bringing it forward. Hernani shoots and it's just wider than the near post. And that, that's it. It's full time. Levante 6, Las Palmas 1. Yeah. What can I say? It's poor, 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 poor. Yeah, we're going to have to have a go at them for that performance. It was absolutely shocking. Yeah, so we get absolutely humiliated by Levante today. And, yeah, I'm getting some more stick thrown at me. Uh, so, yeah, we've got the Barcelona game coming up now. Uh, as you can see here, guys, as well, we've been relegated. Yeah, Las Palmas relegated. So... With this now, uh, we'll call it the end of the episode. And we will still come back for that Barcelona game. Uh, and we'll also come back for the last game of the season as well in the next episode. This is has gone on a while now. So, yeah, we'll we'll call it that for, for now. And, yeah. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time for Barcelona and the final game of the season. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye.